Again, he wants to go quick. Oh, he ran into Redondo. Play on! Goals open! And it's in! It's been given! It's an outrageous opener for Inter Miami! Kazan is furious. Redondo it's makes a nil. play on it. Redondo makes a play when Brad Guzan throws the ball out in front of him to punt it. You see a dip of the right shoulder and the right leg go out just to step in front of it. Now, does he touch the ball? No, he does not. But watch Redondo's actions. He steps right into it. But because there's no touch, because there's no contact, because Brad Guzan doesn't go through with the leg, the referee allows play to continue. Now VAR is going to have to determine whether or not that is clear and obvious obstruction of the goalkeeper. Wow. What do you think? There is not contact. There's I no contact. Clear. There's no touch of the ball. But there is a move to that. I think the goalkeeper's got to follow through with his leg to show that there is 100% obstruction of that. I think it's very difficult to determine whether or not that's clear and obvious. And it is remarkable to the goalkeeper that is single-handedly got them into this position to let that be the goal. But there's obviously a long look right now from VAR because of the right leg and right tip of the shoulder in movement into the direction of it. I don't think it's clear and obvious. I think the goal is going to stand. The goal uh, is confirmed. The check is complete. No clear and obvious error. David Martinez has opened the scoring with one of the most bizarre goals that Atlanta United have conceded in this building.